Hi, this is question number one taken from June 2006, HSC Advanced Level Maths, uh, P, uh, Advanced Level Maths uh, Statistics 2. Packets of fish food have weights that are distributed with standard deviation 2.3 gram. A random sample of 200 packets is taken. The mean weight of this sample is found to be 99.2 grams. Calculate a 99% confidence interval for this for the population weight mean weight okay so let's do this question now right so we have uh, for this question that the standard deviation has been given as 2.3 grams and also we know that a random sample of uh, 200 packets uh, is taken. The mean weight x bar is equal to 99.2 grams. Uh, we have to find a 99% confidence interval. That's the question. Right, for this uh, question I would advise you first of all to draw a rough sketch of a normal distribution curve. Although this may not be quite necessary just to give you an idea of what's going on here. A 99% confidence interval would mean that you take 1 and you minus 99 over 100 and you divide by 2. That's going to give you 0 decimal 005. Okay, so what it means is that it looks like a two tails situation. So this area here and this area here are both going to represent zero naught, I mean zero decimal zero zero five, and this is zero decimal zero zero five. The ninety nine percent confidence interval is in between here. There's another thing when it comes to this kind of question that you will need to use is the confidence interval formula, which is basically the mean. Okay, plus their or minus their z value multiplied by the standard deviation over the root of n. Now that's that's very important. Without this, you won't be able to get your answer. Now, how are we going to find and work out this this 0 0.005, the z value here? What is the z value? That's what we need to find out to be able to plug it in into this formula. So, this here basically we know that. Uh, for a normal distribution curve, the area is given to the left of the curve. Therefore, anything to the right would mean that 1 minus um, what has been given. So 1 minus uh, to the right. So what are we going to do then? We're going to say the z value, which is basically 1 minus the uh, z value, okay, the, 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 the phi of the z, z value. It's going to be given as 0 decimal 0, 0, 5. Okay, so therefore, what do we make out here? Is that the phi of the z value is equal to 1 minus 0 decimal 0, 0, 5. And basically, if you do that in the calculator, you're going to end up with 0 decimal 995. Let's check it out. I'm working it from memory here, so we'll have to be very careful. Okay, right, here we are. And uh, so this is the z value. Um, the, 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 sorry, the phi of the z value. Therefore, z is going to give us the inverse of 0 decimal 995. And if you check that from your table, so let me bring the table here. you'll find out that the inverse of 0 decimal 995 is somewhere approximately here. 0 decimal 995, where is 9? 9, 992, 9946, 9948, 9949. So this is it. There we are. So we are getting 2.5, 2.5, then all the way up, 7, 2.57, Okay, plus the one. So one is in the column of six. So two point one, two point five seven six. 
So basically we're looking at the Z value being 2.576. Therefore, the confidence interval is going to be then um, the mean, which is 99.2 plus or minus the Z value, which is 2.576, multiply by the standard deviation, which has been given as 2.3, divided by the root of 200. So, we're going to have then 2 decimal 3 divided by the square root of 200, all multiplied by 2.576, then you take 99.2 you minus this answer so we're going to take 99 decimal 2 minus the answer is going to give us 98.8 .8. so we have 98 decimal 8 and also uh, the same thing we say 2.576 multiply by 2.3 sorry 2.3 divide by the square root of 200 Okay, and then you take 99, which is the mean point two, minus the answer. Oh, sorry, I just did the minus. I oh, was sorry about that. So 2.576 times 2.3 divided by root of 200. Okay, so we're going to take 99.2 uh, this time plus the answer, 99.6. Okay, so we have it as 99.6. So this should be your answer. What it means basically is that I'm 99% confident that the mean value here lies between these two uh, critical values. And here we are for this question. I hope you've enjoyed this video.